So what we have to do now is if you go around talking to the different villagers, they're gonna be like, hmm. Yeah, I don't really remember. Dumpy was a ghost, and I saw him, and then it's like, ah, and then his friends like, ah, you're such a dumbass. Now there's just randomly posed scattered around the graveyard. These guys don't really matter. Like I said, they're only five rupees to that ghost guy, so whatever. If I remember to plant a magic seed here, we'd be able to go up there to get a heart piece, but whatever. So what we have to do is just kind of come over here and defile this grave like we usually have. Just kind of pulling it out of the way. And then we fall down the hole. I missed the hole. Fall oh, down the hole. Diggy hole, diggy hole. And all of a sudden, we see Dumpy. He's like, hey, hey, hey. I may not look like I bought that confident in my spot. Have a hey, hey. And then all we have to do is chase after him. It's not really a race. It's more like a time attack or something. I don't know what to compare this to. It's kind of like when you're racing your ghost. Actually, no, that doesn't make sense. I just said it's not a race. This is just kind of one of those, like, uh, cat and mouse things where you just kind of have to follow him, yet you don't really attack. He just attacks you. Even though he's supposed to be the mouse, and, well, this analogy doesn't really make sense anymore. And I can't believe I just got burned. Oh, crap, oh, crap. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. There you go. Jesus Christ. I think he turned this way. There we go. This isn't really that hard to do, but since I'm a dumbass, I'm probably gonna fail anyway. Because, like, everything's easy until you open your wi big, wide mouth. No, I'm not saying that as some kind of innuendo. If you are saying it as some kind of innuendo, well, happy birthday. And happy Kwanzaa, happy American Day, happy Chinese New Year, happy every... Happy All World Day. There you go. That's like a holiday to solve all worldly problems. Not even Earth Day. Earth Day cannot sort so, uh, of freaking fix any worldly problem. Just like All World's Day. It's just a picture of an American flag with the world on it instead of actual stars. So then now that you're here, we can be like, your time was LOL. <laughs> no. He's like, hey, 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 young man, you were very quick to be able to keep up with me. <laughs> That's how I like my young man. <laughs> one second, please. Man, you know, how many times can I get interrupted in one recording? Well, we get the... Wow, bad voice crack. We get the hook shot. You know, I'm just gonna enjoy my... What is so hard for Mountain Dew and Root Beer and Dr. Pepper? They look nothing alike. The freaking can art isn't really the same. You know, um... There you go. That's all that matters. I just drank it. That's all I care about. I live here now, so come back again. I'll give you something. I don't want you to give me anything cool, you old man. So, actually, there's another thing that we actually do get if we do that race again, as ridiculous as it sounds. I should check in a safe state of here before something happens with my recording or something like that. But if you actually bother to read the text that I just blatantly skipped, we get the hookshot! You found the hookshot! It's a spell that had loaded Jane that you can cast out to hook the- Yeah, that makes sense. Even though it doesn't really look like a hookshot, it kind of looks like a really interesting looking shuriken or something. Maybe it's a dagger. I'd be pretty badass. But, so what you want to do is you got to come out here and- What the heck was that? That was really weird. But whatever, so what you want to do is play the Song of Time. And then the blocks disappear! Hooray! Don't even know why there was two in the way in the first place, but whatever, let's continue going on. And you may notice that this music sounds very familiar. It actually kinda blocked me on what I was about to say. But whatever, so we're back up here, so now we can actually get this, and hopefully I don't miss this jump. In fact, I'm gonna save stage just so I don't. And come on, let's go! Wow, that was really strange and awesome at the same time. And then we get another heart piece! But I'm actually gonna go do that Dompe race again, so I'll be right back again. Even more cuts into the video. Uh, and I was like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. I said, hey.
What's going on? Are you kidding me? He's supposed to leave a heartbeat. I think I was supposed to beat my time. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to beat LOL? Hold on, I'm gonna do this race again. Well, I guess that's how you beat 101. You get like four seconds behind it. I also just had like a really, really big deja vu. Because as soon as I said that, like, I wanted to, like, do the race again, I ended up just taking another sip of my root beer. But hey, he left me some candy. Mmm, I wonder what kind of candy this is. Oh my god, it's heart piece candy. Ugh. Ugh. I'm actually one. I've always imagined, like, the heart pieces to be candy. Because they just look so sweet looking, like. I'm guessing that it's a heart encased in glass, but I always imagine it to be to be some kind of like rock candy, as interesting as it sounds. But like, have you ever imagined that, where like, the freaking heart piece just kind of looks like a thing of candy? I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who's ever thought that, right? Right? Come on. I'm, I hope I wasn't. Uh, please tell me I wasn't. Uh. I actually forget, is this still the House of Skulltola, or did they get rid of them? I'm pretty sure they got rid of them. And, oh no! I guess I can still turn these in. Who else? I think that guy was already saved, I think this guy was already saved, but let me just check anyway. Uh, yeah, so all that's left is this douchebag over here. The curse has been lifted! Oh, broke it. Well, whatever. Thank you, here's your reward! And he gave us another wallet! This is the wallet that holds 500! Which is now why I'm probably gonna go find that bunny dude to sell him this hood. Which is not a mask and yet found in the mask shop. I don't understand that. I don't like that either. I don't understand why this old man really looks like a woman from behind. Even though he obviously has a mustache and a really pink nose and is moving up to like this. Is he sick or something? What's an old man doing outside with a red nose? Are you kidding me? Okay, fine, I'll move. Well, you know, I think we've covered a lot in this episode, so in the next episode, guys, we're gonna continue on. If you haven't noticed, this was two episodes, so mind rape. Uh -huh. Bye!